Welcome to my trip to Armenia. I am taking my first overnight sleeper train to go explore Yerevan and show you roughly what it's like to travel in an overnight train. So right now I'm actually on my way to Yerevan. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh, this camera is chaotic, but... Um, I have an Azerbaijani stamp in my passport and I'm taking an overnight train after saying goodbye to my friend and dropping them off at the airport. And now it's time to go to Yerevan. It's a little bit intimidating. This is leaving in like 20 minutes and it's gonna arrive at 7 a.m in Armenia and I've not even figured out where I'm going to be sleeping tonight so this is gonna be very fun <laughs> I actually tried exchanging money as well to the Armenian Lira I think but the guy that I usually go to oh wow it's so dark here uh, didn't even exchange the Lira only the Manats so I was really in a rush so my usual exchange guy couldn't help me out and yeah, it looks pretty much like one of the old Soviet trains, but it's supposed to be newer now. So they, I think they replaced them, some of them. The main reason why I'm being nervous about the Azeri stamp was mostly due to the fact that Armenia and Azerbaijan have a minor conflict going on. One land area that holds the both countries in its grip. An area with mostly Armenian heritage and an Azeri minority. Nagorno-Karabakh had been fully given to Azerbaijan during the Soviet times when the lines of the Soviet republics were drawn up. It still causes a lot of tension today. It's the main reason that the internet tells you you could have problems entering Armenia with an Azeri stamp and vice versa. To my surprise, the officers dressed in their old-fashioned USSR uniforms and bulky portable computers were fairly friendly. When you get aboard, it's a fairly simple setup. You have a bunk bed and you are handed a set of linens, a pillow and a blanket. You make your own bed and settle in for the night. It's no common practice for people to bring their own food on board as there seems to be little to no dining facilities. I've arrived at the Georgian-Armenian border. There seems to be quite a few stray dogs and we're just all waiting outside the train in order to move on right now. Crossing Georgia, I had just actually taken off my shoes and my socks at the wrong moment, which was kind of stupid, but probably the Armenian border will be the one that's really a pain and all internet has disappeared at the border town, even though I have a SIM card, so yeah, this is very fun. <laughs> I don't know how they managed to do it, but literally the two times that I've been to Georgia, all the stamps are overlapping. This is kind of getting ridiculous. Stop ruining my good stamps. I was honestly also rushing off, so I didn't even bring enough food. So yeah, I have to hold out until 7 a.m. And the exchange guy didn't exchange the lira, so this is going to be a very fun trip. I don't think I can do much because the charger the charging port in the cabin is not working, the Wi-Fi is not working, I didn't bring enough water and food and I have to hold that until 7am Well, I haven't figured out where to sleep the next day basically. And also just so many stray dogs everywhere just chilling right at the border check to leave Georgia. I hope going into Armenia will not be much of a problem because I also read that for Armenia you need to have some documents of where you're staying because I haven't had an address because they say that's what you need to do if you've previously stayed in Azerbaijan and when I was in Azerbaijan I was doing couch serving and right now I do not have the internet to connect to couch serving anymore to still try and find a host well they might want to know where I'll be staying in Armenia so yeah this is not working out in the best way and I've made it into Armenia. One of the most rewarding aspects of this journey was waking up to the Armenian landscape slowly turning into Mount Ararat, the snowy peaks in the morning sun. Mount Ararat is considered to be the national symbol of Armenia despite finding itself inside of the borders of Turkey, whose borders only a few kilometers away from the capital. It is a majestical sight to take in as you wake up from this long, exhausting journey.
I stayed the night with a family who seemed to be still building their house and renting out their excess rooms to travelers coming to Armenia. I had the pleasure of being shown around their garden, try their incredibly pure mountain water, taste some homemade goodies and some, some extra stunning views. 